Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make my famous Instant Pot Beef Stew. I do a couple of things a little bit differently in here, and I think it adds a lot of great flavor. So let me show you how I do it. I have turned my Instant Pot on to saute, and I've added one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now I'm going to add about two to two and a half pounds of a chuck roast that I have cubed up. And I've already pre-salted it. I like to salt this beef when I cook it. Initially, simply because it pulls out the, a little bit of the water and it helps it brown up a little bit more. When you've got all of your meat semi-brown, just dump it all back into your pot. And I'm going to add 16 ounces of chicken stock. Yes, I said chicken stock. I like the way that the chicken stock combines with the beef for a lovely, rich, meaty flavor. Then I'm going to add 16 ounces of tomato sauce. We're going to do two cookings on this. So the first time we're just going to cook off the beef. Just making sure I have got my Instant Pot set to seal. Now I'm going to show you how I do it. I hit manual. It already defaults to 30 and mine defaults to high pressure. So just make sure you do it the same way. So at the end of the 30 minutes, do a quick release. Simply by turning the little nozzle over to venting and you have to wait till all the steam comes out and then the pot will open. Next thing I'm going to do is season it up. I'm going to put in some garlic powder and some smoked paprika and then I'm going to add in my veggies. I like to add them in now because if you add them in too soon, they get mushy and we're not making mashed potatoes and stew. We're making a good hearty beef stew. Two and a half pounds of potatoes, eight ounces of carrots, and about two and a half medium sized onions went in here. You can be a little bit flexible on your vegetables. Use what you have on hand. If you have some celery, toss that in. It's all gonna be good. Now my Instant Pot is a six quart Instant Pot right here. So just keep that in mind. And I am going to now do this for four minutes on high pressure again. And then we will show you what it looks like. It looks fantastic. The smoke pack paprika gives us a lovely color. So there you go, that's all there is to it. There is my famous recipe for Instant Pot Beef Stew. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you give it a try soon. Please leave me a comment down below of what Instant Pot recipe you'd like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe. I release videos here all the time. Thanks so much for watching.